Let's jump into the star of the show. The top 7 iron rich foods you need in your diet to boost those iron levels naturally. These foods are not just iron powerhouses, but they also come with a bunch of other health benefits. First up, we have spinach. This leafy green is a powerhouse when it comes to iron, providing about 3.6 milligrams per cooked cup. But that's not all. Spinach is also packed with vitamins A, C, and K, plus it has a good dose of calcium and magnesium. It's like a multivitamin in vegetable form. So, how can you get more spinach in your diet? It's super versatile. Add it to your morning smoothies for a nutrient boost that you won't even taste. Throw it into salads for a fresh, crisp bite, or saute it with a bit of garlic as a tasty side dish. Trust me, once you start incorporating spinach regularly, you'll feel the difference in no time. Subscribe to Brain Blitz, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on more health tips and natural remedies. Next on the list are lentils. These little legumes are a fantastic plant-based source of iron, giving you a whopping 6.6 mg per cooked cup. Plus, they're high in protein and fiber, making them a great choice for anyone looking to eat healthier. Cooking with lentils is easy and they're super versatile. You can toss them into soups and stews for a hearty, filling meal. Or, try making a lentil salad with some fresh veggies and a tangy vinaigrette, it's perfect for a light lunch that keeps you full and energized. Now, let's talk about red meat. Red meat, especially beef, is rich in heme iron, which is the type of iron that's easily absorbed by our bodies. A 3-ounce serving of beef contains about 2.7 mg of iron, making it a great option for boosting your iron levels quickly. When preparing red meat, go for healthier cooking methods like grilling, baking, or stir-frying with lots of veggies. This way, you can enjoy the benefits of iron without the extra fat. Red meat can be a delicious and nutritious part of a balanced diet. Pumpkin seeds are next on our list, and they're not just for Halloween. These tiny seeds pack a big punch, with 2.5 mg of iron per ounce. They're also loaded with magnesium, zinc, and healthy fats. Incorporating pumpkin seeds into your diet is a breeze. Sprinkle them on top of your salads or yogurt for a crunchy texture. They make a great snack on their own, or you can add them to trail mix for an on-the-go energy boost. Quinoa is another fantastic option, especially if you're looking for a grain alternative. This superfood provides 2.8 mg of iron per cooked cup and is also a complete protein, meaning it contains all 9 essential amino acids. You can use quinoa as a base for hearty salads, replace rice in your favorite dishes, or even make a nutritious breakfast bowl. It's incredibly versatile and can fit into any meal of the day. Let's not forget about turkey, especially the dark meat. Turkey is a good source of iron, with about 1.4 mg per 3 ounces. Plus, it's a lean protein that can help keep you full and satisfied without the extra calories. There are plenty of delicious ways to prepare turkey. Roast it for a traditional meal, make turkey burgers for a fun twist, or add slices to your sandwiches and wraps. It's a great way to get a tasty boost of iron. Last but not least, we have tofu. This plant-based protein is a great source of iron, with about 3.4 mg per half cup. Tofu is also incredibly versatile and can absorb the flavors of whatever you cook it with. Try stir-frying tofu with your favorite veggies, baking it with some savory marinades, or adding it to soups and salads. It's an excellent way to boost your iron intake while keeping your meals exciting and delicious. These seven foods are all fantastic options to help you naturally boost your iron levels. Incorporate them into your meals, and you'll be on your way to feeling more energetic and healthy in no time. Let's talk about why iron is such a big deal for our bodies. Iron is like the unsung hero of our nutritional needs. You see, iron is crucial because it's a key component in the production of hemoglobin. That's the stuff in your red blood cells that carries oxygen around your body. Imagine your blood cells as little delivery trucks, and hemoglobin as the engine that powers them. Without enough iron, those trucks can't do their job efficiently, and your body starts to feel the effects. When your iron levels are low, it's like your body's running on fumes. You might feel tired all the time, even if you're getting plenty of sleep. This kind of fatigue isn't just being a bit sleepy, it's that bone-deep exhaustion that makes everything feel like a chore. Low iron can also lead to weakness, like, you feel like a total weakling even though you haven't skipped leg day. And it can even mess with your brain, causing trouble with focus and concentration. But it doesn't stop there. If your iron levels drop too much, 
you can end up with anemia, which is when your body doesn't have enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your tissues. Anemia can leave you feeling dizzy, short of breath, and just generally crappy. It's not fun. So, keeping your iron levels in check isn't just about avoiding these symptoms, it's about keeping your body and mind running smoothly. Trust me, you'll notice the difference when your iron levels are where they should be. So, you're eating all these iron-rich foods, that's awesome. But did you know there are ways to supercharge your iron absorption? Let's dive into a couple of simple tips to make sure your body gets the most out of the iron you're consuming. First up, let's talk about vitamin C. This vitamin is like iron's best friend because it helps your body absorb iron more efficiently. Think of it as the wingman that makes sure iron gets into your bloodstream. So, what should you pair with your iron-rich foods? Foods high in vitamin C are perfect, we're talking oranges, bell peppers, strawberries, and even broccoli. For example, if you're having a spinach salad, toss in some bell peppers or strawberries. Or, if you're eating lentils, squeeze some fresh lemon juice on top. These little tweaks can make a big difference in how much iron your body absorbs. Now, on the flip side, there are some foods and drinks that can actually block iron absorption, and you'll want to limit these around your iron-rich meals. Tea and coffee are the big culprits here. They contain compounds called tannins that can bind to iron and prevent it from being absorbed. So, try to avoid drinking tea or coffee right before or after your meals. Also, high calcium foods like dairy products can inhibit iron absorption. This doesn't mean you have to give up your morning latte or cheese entirely, just be mindful of when you're consuming them. Maybe save your cappuccino for a few hours after your iron-packed lunch. Incorporating these tips into your routine is easy and can really maximize the benefits of your iron-rich diet. Pairing the right foods together and being aware of what to avoid can help ensure you're getting all the iron you need to stay energized and healthy. So, next time you're planning a meal, think about these little hacks to boost your iron absorption. Alright, let's get real for a moment. While boosting your iron intake is super important, it's crucial to do it the right way. If you suspect you have an iron deficiency, the first step should always be to consult your doctor. They can run some tests to confirm if you're actually low on iron and determine the best course of action for you. Why is this so important? Well, self-diagnosing and making major changes to your diet or starting supplements without professional guidance can sometimes do more harm than good. For instance, too much iron can lead to toxicity and cause serious health issues like liver damage. And let's be honest, none of us want to trade one health problem for another. Your doctor can help you figure out exactly how much iron you need and the best way to get it, whether that's through diet, supplements, or a combination of both. Also, if you have any pre-existing health conditions or are pregnant, it's especially important to talk to a healthcare professional before making any significant changes. They can give you personalized advice to ensure you're on the right track and help you avoid any potential risks. Remember, the goal is to improve your health safely and effectively. So, don't skip that step. Make sure you get a professional opinion before diving into new dietary changes or supplements. It's always better to be safe and informed. From spinach to tofu, these foods are not only rich in iron but also packed with other essential nutrients to keep you feeling your best. Remember, it's all about incorporating these foods into your daily routine in delicious and creative ways. Now it's your turn. Give these foods a try and let me know how they work for you in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences and any other tips you might have for boosting iron levels. Let's get a conversation going and help each other stay healthy and energized. And of course, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Brain Blitz, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on more health tips and natural remedies. Share this video with your friends and family who might benefit from it. The more, the merrier. Let's spread the health love. Thanks so much for watching, everyone your support means the world to me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our previous video on Clove Water, 4 Secrets Nighttime Health Elixir. It's packed with more awesome health tips you won't want to miss. Take care, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.